What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm, Rad 89 here, bringing you another video today, a rad movie review for a new horror film that came out this year that is definitely in the contender spot for being horror film of the year. We still have some horror films coming out that are sprinkling out throughout the rest of the year, so we'll see how it turns out, but I'm going to tell you right now, When Evil Lurks, that's currently streaming on Shudder, is definitely worth the watch. So today you're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home, so let's do this. Roll it. So When Evil Lurks is a new horror film that came out this year, and this one's directed by Damien Rudna. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but I'm trying. And then he is the director, the same person who brought us Terrified, which is a film I haven't checked out yet, but after watching this one, it's definitely a film I'm interested in, and it's on my watch list now. And this is a film that just, oh man, has such a great concept. And it's one of those films that I'm struggling to kind of do this review just because I don't want to say too much because I feel like the least amount you know about this movie, like in terms of the story and the characters, you want to go into it as blind as possible because this is a movie that has so much to offer in terms of the acting, in terms of the story, the gore, everything. It really has a lot to offer. And like, we're talking about positives right now because I'm trying to sprinkle out the positives and not stress out too much, you know, about the story, you know what I mean? And like, let you on to what's going on. But basically, this is a Spanish horror film. It's a Spanish language film. So you do have to read the subtitles and everything. But it really follows two brothers who go through, uh, there's a traumatic experience. Something happens in their town and they have to basically navigate their way around this experience. And actually, one of them has children, so he goes back to get his children and everything from a wife that is, is his ex. So there's a lot, a lot of kind of drama right there and character stuff. So like I said, it has a lot to offer because there's character moments, there's great acting, it's a gore fest for real, and it's got children involved too, so that really makes the threat level even higher. In terms of some other positives, I must say the cinematography and the way this film looks, there are some really creative shots, really creepy shots, and just imagery that is like, you know, poster worthy, but it's creepy, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm a horror fanatic, so, but like there's some really good cinematography and camera work in this film that I loved, and that absolutely sets the atmosphere and the tone of the film. Another thing is our score and our music is really off the charts for real. There's certain sequences and certain scenes that are completely elevated by the score that really make it feel intense. For instance, there's a scene, a certain scene in this film where two men are running around a town kind of looking for a for an animal and they're just running around the town and like the beat, the, the score that's going on in the background, it really just get your heart pumping and gets you enthralled with the moment and you feel like you're there you're racing around the town looking for, for the you know for the animal it's really a good scene so that is one thing like i said the score really elevates a lot of the moments in this film and being that this is a very low budget film it's a shutter film an ifc film and it's like i said very indie very low budget but it has a great tone to it a clear-cut story that is actually a really cool concept, you know what I mean? It actually brings something new to the table in terms of the subgenre of horror that it falls in line with. It's really something new, and for me, like, definitely. I've already watched it twice. I kind of wanted to watch it twice before I did this review, just so I knew and could affirm my feelings on it. Like, was it, like, just something that surprised me? That first watch is just the first watch. It's going to be like that, and then the second watch, it won't be as strong. But I, the first watch was by myself totally blew me away the second watch i showed my daughter and like both of us like said i still was floored by it and she absolutely loved it so yeah this is a film that isn't it a happy film i must stress that right now this isn't a go lucky happy type horror film you know what i mean or anything like that this is a very dark a nihilistic tone type heavy film so but a lot of horror fans are into that and if you're into that kind of movie this is going to be right up your alley like i said this is in the same vein as like you know john carpenter's the thing or the sadness. It's got a very heavy weighted tone to the film. And I also said, like I said, the acting, even there, there's children actors in here too that I think do a fantastic job. And one of our child actors 
he has, is autistic and like does a fantastic job of doing that role and just how it's portrayed and everything. And it really is, is another element to the film in terms of story that throws in a, you know, threat level thing. So that's what I like about this film is it's, it's dark in tone, it's heavy, and there's actual stakes involved. So you feel the threat. And when you're watching the film, it's actually a film that you're like, oh, damn, like if this took place and this was actually happening... I'm, I'd be scared for my life. And another cool thing about this movie too is that the way it's set up, they don't give you so much details, like everything, that this is a film that they really opened up the doors for an interesting world where the creators and writers of this, you could possibly have a prequel film. You could possibly have a sequel that can do and add even more to this universe. Well, let's talk about negatives, and there really isn't that many negatives at all. In terms of like negatives, like I really don't have that many like this is one of those films that i struggle to look for negatives for because it was just that badass it floored me and then even after this after the second watch i was still really invested with this film and really floored with it and i watched it only like three days apart like it was only like a two or three day gap apart and i still like said absolutely enjoyed it and i could probably return to it right now and watch it so rewatch value is high the gore is fantastic like i said there's the negatives in here is stuff that and maybe it might have been a little too long maybe like that's maybe one negative but that's like a minor thing it like really a minor negative is that it could have been a little too long and that maybe for some people out there this might not be a heavy rewatchable film because of the content and how heavy it is but for me like I said, I already watched it twice in the, the three days or whatever, and I would totally be down to watch it again if somebody was like, let's check it out right now. So yeah, When Evil Lurks is all that and a bag of chips. The so time to find out the rating for this bad boy, and in my book, Norn Red 89, I'm going to give When Evil Lurks a 9.5 out of 10. Like This is a fantastic film, one that I highly, highly recommend you go check out. Like I said, it's currently streaming on Shudder and is totally in the spot of being a contender for horror film of the year when we all said and done when it comes down to the end of the year but i'm still really excited for eli ross thanksgiving i think that's going to swoop in and be a really really fun slasher i also want to take this time to plug a live stream that i have coming up with jason the old millennial we are going to be talking about a certain bond film i'm not going to kind of spoil it until i have the thumbnail up you'll see it when i have it premiering and everything like that you'll know which one but we are going to be sitting down because in november i usually like to tackle some bond content instead of doing reviews for movies and just adding more on top of the pile of stuff that i have not completed for the channel we're going to just do a live stream where me and Jason are going to sit down and chat some of uh, one of our favorite, you know, a really good James Bond film. So I'm very excited for that. But be sure you like this video. That greatly helps out to the channel. Share it to other people. If you like this content, it's great to share the content. And be sure you have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.